everybody's having a good day. I uh, wanted to let you know that the MS100 course that I've created is going to get a big update to support MS102 uh, here coming up soon. All right, this is going to happen on uh, April 29th, 2023. The MS100 course is going to get an update with MS102. All right. So you will be able to take that course and you can prepare for the MS100 exam or you can prepare for the MS102 exam by going through this course. Now I want to show you real quick how things are going to change. So if you take a look at the new outline here I've put on the screen for you, we'll have the introduction, standard introduction, uh, setting up for hands-on. This will be updated with some Windows 11 material as well as a server set up though you can still do pretty much everything with Windows 10 if you're using a Windows 10 virtual machine. Um, both the MS100 exam and the MS102 exam share the majority of the same test objectives with exception of a few things and I want to show you. So all of this is the same. Uh, all of this is the same. Going through all of the uh, PIM and identity synchronization, setting up Azure AD Connect and all of that though there is a new piece that's been added involving uh, Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync um, that will be important and planning implement authentication is the same now when we get to here planning uh, and implementing application access I have put the words MS100 next to the heading of that part of the class this is just for MS100. The, the beginning of this course is for both. Whether you're taking MS100 or you're taking MS102, you got to do you got to do all the beginning of this course, okay? And then this area here, plan and implement application accesses for MS100 only. So is understanding the Exchange SharePoint and OneDrive migration. That is for MS100 only. Everything below that will say MS102 only. This is all for MS102. So these last sections here will say MS-102 next to the section. So again, just to clarify, you, uh, if you, whether you're taking MS-100 or MS-101, you got to go through all of the sections up until the section that says MS-100 next to it. If you're taking MS-100, you'll take these last two sections. You don't have to take any of the MS-102 material unless you just want to. Now, if you're not taking MS-100, you will skip over the MS-100, these two MS-100 sections, and you'll jump right into the MS-102 sections, okay? So uh, I'm excited about these updates. This new exam Microsoft is putting out, um, I'm now, this course is going to support both. So you can pick and choose which of those you're planning to go with. I will warn you, MS-102 is going to be in beta until uh, July. I always recommend that people take the older exams as opposed to taking the new exams until at least until they get out of beta. It will take some time for some good practice exams and things like that to come out for it, but uh, I will leave that up to you. You can actually take either one. This course is going to prepare you for either one of those exams, and I think you'll find that uh, everything should be covered, and I hope you'll enjoy the course. Uh -huh.